And welcome everybody to another edition of The Coach's Perspective here on Riverside TV. I'm your host, Jeff Gorm, and we are in a week seven, and we've got ourselves a thriller this Friday night, starting off with John W. North versus Hammett, and the game that I will be on with my partner, Ghazal Hassan, that is Ramona versus Norda Vista. And now we are joined by my partner, Ghazal Hassan. How are you doing today, Ghazal? I, I'm doing great, Jeff. I, I'm so excited for Friday for a lot of reasons. It is undefeated teams, two undefeated teams. It is the veritable clash of the Titans, okay? Ken Mashinsky playing the role of Perseus. He's got all these weapons. You know, he's got Bo Bruins. He's got Nate Johnson. He's got a bunch of wide receivers. Zach Shiner among them. He's got a great wide receiver core. His huge offensive line, Jeff. But it's the old bearded ferryman in the River Valley League. It's Ken Batdorf. And you're going to have Andy Martinez can play the Burgess Meredith role. But Ken Batdorf, you know, he somehow finds a way to win. The teams are 13-0 and combined. And we're going to find out. Who is the class of the River Valley League, with all with all due respect to Travis Carter and Hillcrest, because they're 2-0 in league as well, on Friday night, October 15th, at Zach Earp Stadium, you and I on the call. How, how fun is it? This is what it's all about. And it's a couple of neighborhood schools with local kids playing against each other for first place. It's Calibus and the Kraken versus Perseus. I'm telling you, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'll tell you, you, you would be, you would be Calibus in that equation. That's you know, true. So. But, but how exciting is, I mean, you have one team that's only given up, North of this has only given up 21 points in six games. Ramona's putting up 45 points a game in their seven wins. It is defense versus offense. I mean, when would we have ever thought about saying that against for a North of this team? Yeah. You know, when I talked with coach Mush yesterday, and he was really focused on his defense. You know, they're getting their big guy back. Uh, who they, we, lost, we saw him in week one. He went off with a foot injury. So he's back this week. Their big defensive tackle, Marcus Perez, back on the field for Ramona. So that'll help them up front. But, I mean, really the battle is going to be what can they do against that offensive line in the running game? You know, we know in the years we've called since Coach Mashinsky has been there, they're pretty solid tacklers, the defense for Ramona. And they're really going to be really solid. Because let me tell you something. Coach Mush, he was just like, listen, they, you know, Carvajal and Eddie Elaine, that's no joke. Like, we really, I mean, those guys can take over a game. And we just got to make sure that neither of them are able to take over the game. You know, they're going to get there. He knows this. He's like, listen, I told our kids and defense coordinator, we've told them, hey, they're going to get some runs. But you don't want them running over you. And, of course, you know, for years and years, the offensive line for Nord Vista just – they just kind of keep churning them out and bringing them in. They always have linemen every single year. And I remember the first couple of games that you and I ever did about Norda Vista. You know, everybody was joking about, you know, Batdorf just goes out and finds them. He finds these kids and puts them on the offensive line and it all works out for him. I know, you know, just from his own, you know, we've only done one game for them. From what I've read with, with Coach Batdorf, he's not been happy with the efficiency on offense. He's been very complimentary of his defense, but I think he thinks the offense can give them a little more. Maybe this is the game we see it. Well, well, Gazal, you know, what are your points? What do you think Ramona has to do to beat Norda Vista first? Well, what does any team have to do to beat Norda Vista? You need to win the battle up front, and that's easier said than done. Norda Vista consistently wins that physical battle. I, I, I'm not going to make any predictions, Jeff, but personnel, you and I both know, personnel-wise, this is the first year I think Ramona really is able to match up in that, you know, in the trenches. They had that win, I think, 2017, that crazy year, that five-way tie for first place. Ramona got him, and I know Norda Vista still hasn't gotten over that. They still don't like that they lost that game because they've dominated this series between the two teams. But to me, you know, you can talk all you want. Nate Johnson's playing great. Nathan Johnson, the quarterback's playing great. We, we, we were introduced to Bo Bruins last spring, but – you can't beat Novi unless you beat him with the big boys. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on the big boys to win that game if Ramona wants to win. Now, on the flip side, talking about this high-powered Ramona offense, what does Novi have to do to stop them? You know, Novi's actually, it's funny, for a team that runs, they, don't, they play the pass pretty well. And I really think it's going to be the, the coverage on the outside for them and really, it's going to boil down to, to, to their defensive line. But, you know, 
with all the years we've covered Norda Vista, they've always had really good linebackers. And we know our, our friend Andy Martinez coaching with a heavy heart this year. Shout out Coach Martinez. He always has the linebackers ready to play. He schools them really, really well. And Coach um, Coach Mashinsky brought up that point to me that I don't think Coach Martinez has ever lost to Ramona in the, in the, in the, in the River Valley League. I think that's what he said. He's like, yeah, I, I think. That he's scratching his head. He's like, I don't think whether when he was at Hillcrest, when he was at Novi, I don't think they've ever lost. A, a, an Andy Martinez coach defense has never lost to Ramona. So that might be the X factor. Burgess Meredith, I'm in the, 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 the playwright and the storyteller in the arena, the great Andy Martinez. Well, we're going to have the Clash of the Titans on Friday night. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep the next two nights. Uh, you and I are going to be talking about this game, <laughs> and hopefully it's a classic here on Riverside TV. It's always a pleasure, Gazal. Uh, thank you for joining Release us. Release the again. back door. I'm sorry. What was that? Release the back door. Release the back door and let them let battle. He's Gazal. I'm Jeff. We're going to be right back with the head coach of those Braves, Ken Batdorf, on Riverside TV on The Coach's Perspective. We'll see you on Friday night, Gazal. 7 p.m. Be ready. And welcome back to The Coach's Perspective here on Riverside TV as we are now joined by the head coach of the North of Vista Braves, Ken Batdorf. How are you doing today, Ken? Doing well, thank you. Ken, you guys are 6-0. and You're playing a 7-0 and Ramona team. This is... I wouldn't call it the granddaddy. I think I called it the great uncle uh, game of the week. But man, what a great game! Two teams undefeated. Both teams, you know, you've you guys have played Riverside teams. You're both undefeated. You're playing for a possible league title. I mean, you've been doing this for I think I've told you 74 years or 28 years, I should say. Uh, you've been in many of these games. How fun is are these kind of games for you as a coach? It's fun. It's stressful. Um, but you know what? This is why you do it. it. It Both us and Ramona should be in the playoffs. I'm sure we both will be. And it lets us kind of get ready for the playoffs. It's like a playoff game. It's a really good opponent. It's somebody that's extremely well coached. Uh, somebody that's physical and plays hard. It's what you can see in the playoffs. So you better get ready for it now. Yeah, talking about that Ramona High School offense. I mean, they've got a solid offensive line. They've got a great quarterback. It's the coach's son. Uh, he does a great job. They've got Bo Bruins in the backfield. They can throw. They have time because their offensive line is tough. But they're going against, I think, one of the better defensive teams in the entire Inland Empire, and that's the Braves. Uh, how do you see that being? Do you see it looking as a, a great defense versus a great offense? Or do you just look at it, hey, we're going to go out and play some street football? Um, I see their offense is extremely well balanced. Um, they're extremely well coached. And like you said, they can throw the ball. They can run the ball. Bo Bruins is outstanding. He's fast. He's elusive. He's tough. He's everything you want a running back. Uh, the quarterback Johnson is fantastic. He throws a really nice ball, a very catchable ball. Um, and when you're that balanced, it keeps the defense kind of on its heels. What are they going to do when you go against our offense? We all know what we're going to do. You're going to throw the football. No, you're, you're gonna you're gonna play smash mouth football, and I'll tell you what. I, I and I think you can attest to this. They have to stop you as much as you, uh, you have to stop them. I, I would agree with that. Well, Ken, I'll tell you what, you know what. Oh, good. They're good on defense too, so let's not take anything for granted. They're, they're a good football team. They're they're seven zero for a reason. Now, now, how cool is it, though, to have two undefeated teams? I mean, Ramona's played everybody in Riverside except for you so far. And, you know, they've done a pretty good job averaging 45 points a game. Uh, but how good is it for, for the River Valley League to have, you know, three teams that are really good with Hillcrest, Ramona, and you guys? It's exciting. And, I mean, obviously, you want to see everybody do well. Um, when we get to the playoffs, I hope we're all three different divisions so all three teams can do great and maybe win a CF title. Um, I think Ramona and Hillcrest are good enough. Um, hopefully we are. And it takes a lot of things to go right your way, but this is a step in the right direction. You know, it's not the end of the season if you lose. Obviously, we're playing to win, and so are they. And talking about your team, your defense has only given up 21 points in six games. That's a pretty impressive uh, stat. Is this the best defense you guys have had at Norda Vista under your tenure? It's the fastest. Um, I don't know if it's the best. It's definitely argumentably the best. Um, they got great speed. They're really well coached. Uh, you got to give a lot out to those guys as well. So, I mean, 
the kids are fast and they make up for mistakes. If they make a mistake, next thing you know, it's, it's that fix that fast. And that's something that most of our defense in the past couldn't do. And these guys just make up for it with great athleticism. athleticism. Now, and you're also playing a lot of these guys on both sides of the football, correct? Yes. Um, you know, when you look at our, our running backs, we rotate them out. People are like, why are you giving them a rest? I'm like, because he plays on defense. In the past, we try to go one way. And if you look at Ramona, they do a really good job of that. We couldn't afford to. Um, we knew we needed to win games. We had to play our, our running backs on defense. Um, Eddie Lane carrying the ball, doing a great job. Jesse Carball had a great game against Patriot. He's a great running back. But there are linebackers. Our fullback is our linebacker, Isaiah Jamal. So it, it's a carryover. And as a head coach, you have to balance. Okay, do we need to get the rest of the guy on offense or defense? So, you know, we're going to try to do the best thing we can. Well, Coach, you guys had a little bit, I mean, a little bit of a hiccup as far as scoring the football. I mean, you've always averaged, you know, a zillion points a game. And a couple games there, you guys didn't put up as many, uh, the, the bigger numbers offensively. Uh, do you think you're kind of getting in your groove uh, since uh, last game when you guys played so well on offense? You know, we're getting there. Um, I attribute that to the coaches. You know, uh, Ulysses Sandoval or Yuli Sandoval is coaching our offensive line. And if you watch the progression of those kids, he's doing a great job. Daniel Garza is doing amazing work with our running backs. I mean, he jokes and says, look, I get to work with it. He does. He's got great running backs. And we have a sta stable of running backs. But those two guys, uh, Roy Delgado, Danny Defra, Mike Gaines, all doing a great job on the offensive side. And I think we had to overcome some adversity with guys being injured, um, some holes. And you have to get a little bit of timing down. Hopefully we're there. I don't know if we're there yet. Hopefully we peak in about – Four or five weeks. Well, this is going to be one of those games where you're going to get to play your starters the whole time. I mean, it's been sometimes you're playing games and you're done by halftime. But this should be good for your team, don't you think, by playing an entire uh, 48 minutes? You know, we'll, we'll see. And we, we've done it a couple times. Uh, when we played Claremont, uh, we were missing seven starters. And we won seven to nothing. And there were kids who were exhausted because they weren't allowed to leave the field. And... Uh, so those kind of games do help us a little bit. I know Ramona's had some close games where they played their kids, obviously, the whole time. So I think it's pretty even on that. Um, it just really comes down to who makes the better plays, who makes the least number of mistakes. Well, Coach, I'll tell you what. It's always a pleasure covering you. I think we're, this will be our third or fourth time this year on Riverside TV. And it's great to call the granddaddy of them all, the great uncle, the Ramona High School versus Norta Vista at your place we're going to have it Friday night at 7 p.m. Thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you Friday night. All right. Take care. Thanks, Coach. He's Ken Batdorf. We're going to be right back with the head coach of Ramona High School, Ken Mashinsky. And welcome back to the Coach's Perspective here on Riverside TV as we're getting ready for the Great Uncle Bowl. Not the granddaddy, but the Great Uncle. And we are joined by the head coach of Ramona High School, Ken Mashinsky. How you doing, Ken? I'm doing great, Jeff. Thanks for inviting us on. I appreciate it. I'll tell you what, this is the one game I circled at the beginning of this year. I said, this is the game I want to cover. And we got it Friday night. It's going to be uh, the River Valley League duel. Only, you know, two of the three undefeated teams in Riverside are going to battle it out, you and Novi. I bet you're excited. What, as a head coach, do you look forward to these games? Uh, without a doubt. I'm I'm almost positive that both uh, Norda Vista and, and Ramona has, has, we've had this circled for a while. And uh, I'm sure that Coach Batdorf over at Norda Vista has had to say, hey, let's, you know, take it one game at a time it, it, as, as we had to do at Ramona. Um, you know, we played some great teams and they've, they've played some great teams. And it's so fortunate that, that, you know, they're undefeated, we're undefeated, and we're finally here. Uh, the week is upon us. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day Friday. It's been a great, great week of practice. It kind of cooled down for all of us. So, you know, we no longer have to say, hey, don't look ahead. Don't look ahead. It, the time is now. Let's look ahead to Friday night. Well, Coach, we're looking at this Norda Vista team. You know, Ken Batdorf's always been known as an offensive guy. They, they always put up, you know, a, a bunch of points running that double wing offense. But this year it's been their defense. I mean, they've only given up 21 points in six games. You guys are averaging 45 points a game. And, and, and firing on all cylinders. You've taken care of all the Riverside schools except for Norda Vista so far. Uh, what do you see 
uh, that's the toughest obstacle of this Norte Vista uh, ball club? Well, they are just loaded with, with skill positions. I mean, everybody knows of, you know, Eddie Elaine and Carvajal and their, and their quarterback, but they have, and, and, you know, the Gaines brothers, but they're loaded all the way around on, on both sides of the ball offensively and, and especially defensively. Uh, they are extremely fast. They are extremely aggressive. Uh, they play with a chip on their shoulder. I was talking to Gasol the other day, and it's like, you know, Norda Vista is kind of like the Oakland Raiders of old. They, uh, they play with a little bit of nastiness, and, and they bring it. And when your defense has that confidence and that arrogance and, and that skill level um, and speed to top it off, uh, it's it's a tough thing. So um, something's going to give either their their defense or our offense, um, and it's it's going to be a great game Friday night. Just really looking forward to it. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, two of my friends are the one is the offensive or the defensive coach, or line coach for uh, Novi, Coach Richie, and then my dear friend Frank Berbers, your offense, one of your offensive coaches. <laughs> Uh, man, I, let's talk about your offensive line. Your offensive line, people are talking about you're huge, and they're giving your son, Nathan Johnson, a great opportunity to just really stand back there and, and hand the ball off to Bo Bruins, or he's able to pepper all over the field. How exciting is it to have your son uh, be your quarterback and have such a great, great running back in Bo Bruins? Oh, it's – I'm beyond words. Uh, you know, I never thought that 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 he would he would – step up and like he's done. I, I, you know, I knew Bo would be a good running back. Never knew he would be this, this good. Um, but all the credit goes to the offensive line. Um, you know, Nathan can't, can't sit back there and throw to these receivers we have. And Bo can't sit here and break stuff. If, uh, if the offensive line is not doing their job. And, and I'm sure Eddie Elaine would say the same thing on, on Norda Vista side, you know, their offensive line breaks him. Um, so we're 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 not we're not young. I don't want to say we're young, but you know we're still a little inexperienced on the O line. But uh, to see over the last seven weeks, see them gel and come together, um, and go from being you know this novice junior with only we only have one senior on the O line and Amari Wiley. Um, see these four other guys, uh, three juniors and a sophomore, step up and and come together and realize that oh my gosh, we are the O line. You know this is what everybody's talking about. And they do have some good size, um, and hopefully they come together this week. And, and you know, this is going to be our toughest test and their toughest test. Um, so we're ready for it. We're up for it, and uh, and the O line's going to bring it this week. Well, coach, you know, I, I've been around Ramona football now. I want to say uh, cl close to forty years. I'm fifty, but I've been around it since I probably was ten or or younger. Um, I'm always excited to to see the Rams do well. Uh, but my biggest thing I'm going to say this about this your program and what you brought is uh, I see a culture of winning I see the guys feel before they're even play and I've seen you play a few times this year they think they're going to win in every single game I mean is that the culture that that something you did or is it just is it just the hard work that these kids have put into it you know it's funny you bring this up we just had a coaches meeting with Tibbles and our principal and all the coaches around campus and that that was what we talked about that was the one thing we talked about was culture and and what each program, you know, what is your culture? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could say I brought that winning culture to Ramona because um, they've they've won CIF championships in the past in the 80s and early 90s, and and they've had such great coaches. I mean, you know, Miller and and and, and you know Rich Martinez and 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 uh, or Stekovic. For some reason, I would go. I'll give. I mean, a there's a there's a billion of them. I'm just I'm just blanking right now. Um, like you know, Markham and. And Tyree and, and it goes back at back and back and back. Um, I, I I will say that you know we we as a coaching staff here when, when I took over and and we got a coaching staff together. Um, one of my things was was like building that confidence and and at first it, it wasn't really there. Uh, you know we were hoping we'd win a couple games, hopefully get into get into CIF and we did. We played Coachella Valley, got blown out. Uh, and that was the first year. And then the second year it was. It was, you know, we need to go further in, in CIF. And now that we've gone to CIF championship, and even though we didn't win it, um, it's funny how the talk of state championship comes comes out. And uh, I really think that uh, building that confidence in these kids, these kids do think that they're going to go out and whoever they play, they're going to win. And that's what's going to make Friday night's game so great is I know 
Coach Batdoor pretty well. And I know those kids and, and they have an air of arrogance and they are confident that they're going to win. And when you look at Ramona, our kids are a little arrogant and they think they're going to win. So when you put those two groups together, that's just a great battle. That's a recipe for a great battle. So so Friday night at seven o'clock, it's going to be electric uh, at, at Norda Vista Stadium. And I think everybody's looking forward to just a great, great high school football game. Well, I think everybody needs to forget anything that's going on Friday night. They need to tune in or they need to come out to the stadium and watch the Braves versus the Rams. I'll tell you what, Coach, I'm a Ramona alumni. I couldn't be more excited about this <laughs> this weekend. And uh, to see my, my two buddies and my two programs really, uh, you know, Bear down and get after it for a River Valley League uh, championship, possibly. Coach, excellent. thank you again, and we'll see you Friday night at the big game. Excellent. Thanks, Jeff. We'll see you Friday night. He is Ken Mishinsky, and we're going to be right back with Pep Fernandez and the top five here on The Coach's Perspective on Riverside TV. And welcome back to my favorite part of the show with my favorite person in the world, my partner in crime, the great Pep Fernandez. How you doing, Pep? I I'm great. We're talking about our favorite thing in the world, which is Riverside football. We've got some great football games coming up, Jeff. Riverside football. In fact, we have all three undefeated teams on Riverside TV this week. First, we have uh, John W. North versus Hammett. John W. North undefeated, playing great football, playing against the Hammett team. What do you see in that game real quickly? You know what? We love Dennis Gregovich at Hammett High School, right? We do. But they have... Oh, no. haven't been what they've been lately. You know what I mean? They, they can score a lot of points, but they just haven't been consistent. So you got to go with the Huskies. And, Jeff, before we get to the other big game, because it's a huge game, I will say this. We will have two undefeated teams in the city of Riverside when the regular season is all complete. That, that is awesome. And it's true. I mean, these two, these three teams, I want to say this, Riverside football is playing. I mean, it's better than I've seen in a long time. And we throw in Hillcrest in the mix. You have, uh, Riverside Poly starting to play well. We've got an opportunity for all these teams to make the playoffs for the most part. Yeah, and we talk about, you know, making the playoffs and league championships and going undefeated. You know, finishing third place in your league, Jeff, might not be the worst thing in the world because let's say you're a really good third place team and the CIF places you in a higher division, you could make a run to a CIF championship. It's not the worst thing in the world. No, it's not. You know, we're, and let's let's talk about that second game. You know, I don't want to say it's the granddaddy of them all because I think it's been used. It's the great uncle of them all. It is the big game between Norta Vista and my alma mater, Ramona High School. Man, one team averaging 45 points a game. Norta Vista has only given up 21 points in six games. What do you think of that game? Offense versus defense. And Jeff, this is not only the matchup we've been waiting for all season long, but both teams coming in undefeated. Like, you couldn't have you know drawn it up any better for Friday night. So I think it's going to be a great game. It's going to have a huge audience on uh, City of Riverside YouTube and Twitter and everywhere else you can find it. I think it's going to be a great game, and I will say this. It's not so bad for the loser to be the second-place team in the River Valley League because, again, you might be placed in a higher playoff division, which might benefit in terms of making a championship run. It's not the worst thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I think both coaches understand that, but I'll tell you what, talking to both of them, they're pretty excited about this one. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, natural rivals, undefeated, offense versus defense, which is kind of weird saying that out loud because Norda Vista has been known for, you know, scoring a ton of points in that punishing ground game. But, Jeff, they're doing it with defense. And, you know, defense versus offense, I usually go with defense in those matchups because I think defense wins championships. I want to see what that Novi defense is going to do against this Ram high, you know, high-flying offense. Yeah, that huge offensive line. The coach's son, Nathan Johnson, uh, Coach Mashinsky's son, he's able to just stand back there. And he, I'll tell you what, watching him play, he's gaining confidence. They're putting up 45 points a game. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be the best game of the year, I think, here on Riverside TV. But we just mentioned the top three teams just in that order in our top five of the Inland Sports Computer. We have John W. North, one. We have Ramona, two. North Vista, three. Let's talk about that fourth place team. Uh, you know, a little bit of a setback. Martin Luther King, you know, they played a really tough centennial team. But still fourth in our rankings. What do you think about uh, Martin Luther King? Yeah, that's the thing they, they play a very tough schedule they do have some quality wins I and mean, we've mentioned it before against redlands east valley so 
you know, if they can sneak into third place, which I think is going to be tough because Roosevelt is turns out to be pretty good in the big eight league. But let's say King can sneak into fourth place, get an at large bid. This is a very good King team. So, you know, let's say they throw him in division nine or division 10 or something like that wild. You know, King could make a run at a CIF championship, but first things first, you have to survive big eight league play, which is easier said than done. Exactly. And let's round out our, our fifth. I think it's a tie. We have Hillcrest and Riverside Poly. Hillcrest continuing to just play their game style of football. Coach Carter does a great job over there. Uh, but a huge win, though, for Riverside Poly this week. Coach Rice is back in the helm. Coach Powell there. They had a great win on Riverside TV Saturday night. Yeah, and Canyon Springs is pretty good this year. Like, Canyon Springs is having a real bounce-back season uh, with their new head coach, Kyle McFadden. So that was a good win for Riverside Poly. And you do want to be playing your best football as you go into the playoffs. And, you know, when you look at the Inland Valley League, you know, Poly might finish, you know, second or, or third, however that works out. And, again, maybe they get thrown in Division Nine or Division Ten. This is a this is a good enough Poly Bears team that, depending on the division, when we find out the regular season – you know, Coach Rice and the guys could string together a couple wins. And think of it this way. There's already been a couple upsets. Marino Valley had to forfeit their last game. Uh, yeah. And then Lakeside upset, uh, I believe, was it Canyon Springs or Marino Valley in that yeah. first week. So, Polly right now is in the driver's seat and has an opportunity to, to do some damage and get in that playoffs. Yeah, Vista Del Lago is probably the team to beat in that league. But Polly could, you know, I'm not saying they won't beat Vista Del Lago, but Polly could finish, you know, second place at least in the in Inland Valley League. Exactly. Well, Pep, we get to see you on the Inland Sports Show Thursday nights and Sports Weekly Live from your home on Friday nights at 11 p.m. Make sure everybody gets out and checks it out. How many highlights did you have last week? Uh, we covered like 14 games, I want to say. 14 games, and you have me uh, chiming in on the comments every episode. <laughs> I have to watch. I, I love watching you, Pep. You do a great job, as always. But uh, make sure you check out In the Sports and Sports Weekly Live with Pep Fernandez. He's Pep Fernandez. I'm Jeff Gorm, and that will do it from the coach's perspective on week number seven. We'll see you Friday night at 7 p.m. Good night, everybody.